I keep most of the junk spring parts uh, in case I need them in the future and uh, I had a gold watch today and seeing the silver spring bar uh, peak from near the strap uh, wasn't a good experience and I wondered whether and uh, these original spring bars would be cleanable and serviceable I'm basically going to clean them in vinegar and baking soda mix and then going to lubricate them and potentially going to compare them to original Omega gold coated spring parts as well and see how this goes so after cleaning these old spring well but I was going to lubricate it and get them unchecked they're spinning and they leave some water inside so the drying process wasn't enough to get the water out and I'm going to continue drying them and then going to lubricate them with cryotox after they are dried basically going to leave a small puddle of cryotox and have it and pull them in have them, have them pull them in so they are now completely dry and started lubricate them with cryotox 105 and by the way these are uh, in their original form these are in their warm form these are currently five dollars each on ebay so one two three four five six twelve i think the, these are six dollars worth of spring cars if they were original so was this worth it probably not but it's definitely paying better than paying full price on ebay and i will probably insert them into some um, straps i want to use in that sense uh, it's definitely better than buying pristine and uh, this is how i plan to lubricate them i'm going to like spring them onto the loop on both sides and additionally i'm going to lubricate the lever section on each one individually because when these lock up and if the, that part locks up then it's very very hard to do all this pink anyway thank you for watching and i hope it was useful especially and to see what original spring pumps gold colors or gold omega watches had three cases and have a good day so i made a quick list strap using these and drilled here but it definitely isn't the best of ideas i mean because uh, the lever on these is quite close to the edge however it definitely works uh, i can't release it with bit one end but you can see the pin on the edge here uh, it's possible to put the pin uh, when you hold with two hands however the pin tends to move inside too Meaning the problem i'm trying to solve here is that uh, it's in my opinion uh, risky uh, to put straps on watches mm. especially tight straps uh, where you can easily get to the mm, spring bar release i mean i've never damaged a case but it's always stressful uh, getting in there and working the spring bar it's an anxious process um, i've heard from some friends that they don't even change straps for this reason uh, so this solves that problem it definitely solves it but is it in a good way 
probably not maybe I'm going to check whether there are 19 millimeter regular spring bars quick release ones regular quick release ones are definitely worth to purchase in this case but I think the problem is solving I mean it's fun to put different straps on different watches in your collection however I mean, when you have new stock level watches, uh, it becomes stressful and, for example, I end up not doing it. So if I, if I can find an optimal solution, I'm going to convert them all into quick release ones. Uh, this way I will be able to mix and match different straps in my collection.